Good morning, good morning, good morning guys. Good morning, guys. Greetings from El Bolson, Argentina. We've got a bit of a special episode for you today. Yes. What are we doing? We have been invited to a gaucho party, which is yeah. pretty exciting. We didn't even know it was taking place. No, it's outside of the city. Yeah. Sam's never been to one. I went to a few when I was a kid living in Argentina, but it's been ages and it's a really fun event, so super looking forward to it. Sam yeah. got a gaucho hat a few days ago. We I need did. to go get that. I can't believe I put this on and not I that know. One. Also, I sh we should mention that it's our Airbnb host that invited us. Yes. Uh, so cool. I really think he, cool guy. He's, rough, he's roughly our age, and yeah. uh, it was so cool for him, for him to invite us. We originally were going to go on a hike, mm -hmm. but instead we're going to do this. This is like so much this, better. This is so much better. All right, off to get your hat. Gaucho hat time. Where's the gaucho hat? I don't know if gauchos wear those green glasses you love to sport, but hey. They they're they're for all all types. Right? Okay, all right. <laughs> all types of people with no fashion sense. Kidding. There you go. All set? All set. Oh! oh. You and Kitty are gonna have a nice day together. Hmm? Bye! Barbecue is currently being prepared just behind us. There's still another 30 minutes to go before the food's ready. But yeah, there is a lot of meat here cooked on the cross. This is gonna be good. They've got some picnic tables set up, some benches. So we're gonna be eating before we check out the event, the festivities today. There you have it. It's 1 o'clock right now. Food should be ready by 1.30. We've already placed our order. doing a little shopping here if you want to become a gaucho this is the place to do so you can get the pants the bombachas the leather belts leather purses shirts yes i want to buy a gaucho knife gaucho knife shopping for knives so I'm considering buying a gaucho knife. Now the best quality ones have the metal handle as well as the metal blade. Okay. This one is 50 US dollars at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Question is, did you bring that much money? Good question. <laughs> in front of us and we are testing out the new knives yeah we bought some gaucho knives Sam bought one for himself they're incredible one for your dad for my dad testing out his present <laughs> the meat is wonderful we have some different cuts yeah some ribs and it's just very very juicy well you, like gotta, you gotta show the knife knife <laughs> yeah the knife already did its work 
let's see if I can cut another cut piece for you. Else. Just so you can see. Today's gonna be a day of messy hands, messy eating. No forks here, it cuts very well. It's super sharp, super sharp. It's almost scary sharp. <laughs> and how's the meat? Very good. Very good. Juicy, salty, tasty. Yeah. We've got a bun, which is gonna come in handy. So yeah, lovely meal. Oh, and wine. Thanks for getting wine for us. Salut. Oh. Mm. Oh wow. All right, so I'm here with my good friend Valentin and we're having Argentine asado. Yes. It's so delicious. And we have you to thank for us coming here. So thank you very much. No, you're welcome. How's, how's the asado so far? This is very, very good asado and we are in, in El Manso, yep. near to El Bolson. And I am very happy to find these two good guys mm. uh, from Canada. So Thanks so much. They are my new friends now. New friends, exactly. Well, we're, we're, we're loving this. Thanks so much for taking us. <laughs> Mm. She's so tired, she's been eating a lot. Oh. <laughs> that one caught me on the face. And I'm gonna have a, a scratch mark on my face. <laughs> barbecue what did you think mr. cameraman Sam it was fantastic we ate so much and everything was delicious oh man what a nice surprise I mean we weren't even planning on having a saddle today just as of yesterday a so great that, invitation this worked out this has so been well. amazing like what better way to spend a Sunday seriously yeah and now that we've eaten we feel like we need a siesta but the party's just getting yes. started We've got the gauchos on their horses. Yeah, they're racing around barrel, uh, not barrels. Yeah, barrels. They're barrels. barrels. <laughs> yeah. They're like going around trying not to knock them down, yeah. demonstrating their skill on a horse. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna watch this. Let's do it. for the day but I've got to say some people have shown up with their tents and I have a feeling this is probably a party that lasts two or three days people have brought a lot of supplies you know everything you need to kind of spend a long weekend out here there's whole families that have come together the pets have arrived I've actually met a really friendly dog so yeah it's a pretty cool setting and just beautiful weather for a day like today time for yeah. a little update so had a lovely lunch we it watched is. a few of the demonstrations but like the party's not really getting going with the no. gauchos because apparently they went really hard yesterday yeah. and everyone's hung over so there's not a lot happening today no so our friend is driving us to El Ojo El yeah. Ojo El Ojo where we're planning to visit a labyrinth yeah. and maybe have some Midianda, like Midianda. an afternoon tea which is awesome yeah I mean, so that's where we're headed right now yeah I mean we had we had a lot of Parisia but I yeah. feel by the time we have merienda we'll have an appetite we'll be again. ready for it 
And yeah, that was it was fantastic getting to go to that event. I mean, it was out of town. We wouldn't have found out about it oh, otherwise. Oh, dude, it was like an hour drive. We so wouldn't have gone there on our we, own. We owe, we owe everything to Valentin. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, Valentin. My only rule is that we have to split up to make this more fun. The three of us can't head into the labyrinth together. Otherwise, there's no incentive. So yeah, I ditched the boys. I think they're gonna try and help each other. Doing this on my own didn't work out so well because it's a dead end. I'm now trying my second, second attempt. First one failed. I'm really hoping I can beat the boys. This is a massive maze. I don't know if it's like the biggest maze in Patagonia or the biggest maze in all of Argentina, but it's huge. It smells nice walking through here. This looks like a new path. I can hear the boys. I can hear the boys. I haven't hit a roadblock in a while, so I feel like I must be doing well. Road splits. I should mention, we're starting this labyrinth just as we're losing daylight. Sun's already behind the mountain. Yes! I've made it to the central courtyard. This is good. But this is only the beginning of the labyrinth. It continues. Doing well. Ooh, a door. That is not the right way. Now this door is open. This is a good sign. I can hear a dog barking. I can also hear the boys. I think they're behind me. A few hedges over. Oh, dead end. I was told that apparently they change up the maze every once in a while. So just because you've been here once doesn't mean you're going to find your way around. I can hear them. You won? No, we're oh not, we're not at the end. I found you. Are you kidding me? We're gonna win. But we're out of the first part, the first maze, because you came through the central courtyard. Yeah. You mean the central... Yeah. Weren't you to, to get here? Oh yeah, yeah. We crossed the, uh, the, the, the gap. Yeah. Maybe we will stick together and help each other out. We are back at the cottage and what a day! Just, what that, a day! That's what I was just gonna say, what a day! <laughs> wow. It was so much fun! I love today! I love today! It was the, the, the Gaucho event was just incredible. Yeah. It was spectacular. I felt like it, I was invited to like an exclusive event that we would never find as tourists. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. Honestly, Everything we did today, I feel like we needed to have a local friend to show us around and get us there and like explain things to us because this is kind yeah. of like off the beaten tourist trail. Like these aren't mm -hmm. places that would be easy to access. Exactly. But so much fun. So much fun. We had a great asado. It was great yeah. buying our first Argentinian gaucho knives. Oh yeah. <laughs> and put those to good use over the years. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was just what a day. Like this was unplanned spontaneous so much yeah. fun and, um, and then the labyrinth and yeah. the afternoon tea that cake a cake was that chocolate sponge cake with cream and all sorts of red berries and mm -hmm. it had meringue and it had dulce de leche 
I want to try and recreate that in my <laughs> kitchen one day. That's how good wow. It was. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to top today, but we've still got four more days in no, three. El Bolson. Three, three, three more, more days. days in El Bolson ahead yeah. of us. So yeah, we're just going to enjoy that to the max think because we'll do, this think, is a cool place. Yeah, I think we'll do some hiking. We'll check out the town. Maybe mm -hmm. make our own asado here. We do have mm -hmm. we do have a grill. Yeah. And oh, uh, with Meowsies that, Meowsies is coming to visit. We have a little kitty. I don't know if you can see it. Meowsies just came in for a little bit of food. Yeah. So with that yeah. in mind, we'll see you guys soon from Elbow Zone. Bye. Yeah.